Good morning, ladies and gents. Welcome to Building Exclusively with Antonio T. Smith Jr. Glad to have each and every one of you on. Always excited. Today is Monday, my day, Monday, whatever you want to call it. All right. So I'm about to get out of the way of greatness and hand it over to the founder and CEO of Antonio T. Smith Jr. LLC and the ATSJR company. All the way from G-Town, Texas, the millionaire and the billionaire maker and innovator creator, Mr. Antonio T. Smith Jr. All right, Grand Rising, thank you so much, everybody, for being here as usual. I think we've got a good day planned out ahead of us. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, we'll be seeing you all at 530 with Phil and Susan going over not the end, but in the end of Sorry, I'm Streaming. Well, you be ready for that as well, because nearly everything, no, just about. No, every single thing in that book I have done, I've invented some new things, but I have done, there's no doubt about it. Every single thing in that book, I followed every one of those steps, plus the ones, Grace, that were in Richest Man and Trash Can. I literally wrote down my playbook. Some people listened. Some people benefited. <laughs> it's as simple as that. Literally wrote down that playbook. For um, we're reaching a point in Pathbender to where you're going to need your materials. I know Jerome has his because they are in my house. So I know Jerome has his. I will be shipping them to him. And I know he I'm glad his. you I'm I'm glad you said that because that has run through my mind. Like I said, did not get him some money. <laughs> they are in my house. <laughs> they are in my house. And, and I, so I know he got his. The rest of y'all are delinquent. <laughs> but it, 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 we it's have easy. ours. Sweet. There you go. Good, good. And there's more, a lot I will give to you via PDF and in you know, a digital, whatever, depending on what that is, digital and stuff like that. So be ready for that as well. Also be ready for the path been to dare. It's, it's a bunch. It's the class is a mixture of many things. You'll be doing. Med, all sorts of stuff. I, I just want to say that. I don't want to say that right here. All sorts of stuff. You know, this, it's a mixture of many things. This month will look differently than it did last month. This month will be more college like, college lab like, be more college lab like than, than the, the, the last month, than the last month. So be ready for that. Grace. Your, your eyebrows look great. Are you doing something? Did you did you pluck them or something? No. <laughs> no, you just just took a bath and, and, and it's you know, okay. Oh, you're just a girl and you woke up and that, that's what it is. That's Got it. it. All right. Okay. You're just a girl and you woke up and that's that's how it is. Like, I woke up like this, right? That's that's it. Got it. All right. All right. All right. Shout out to Adonia. Adonia sent me something yesterday from Canva. And uh, very impressive. I'm very impressed with them. And I've, I've got some secrets to give away and things like that as well. So just, just be ready for that. Grace, today's title. I don't really have a title. This is what I want to do. And then we can come up with a title. I'm, I, wanna, I don't want to teach. I want to tell you what I'm doing, kind of like I did Friday. And if you steal, then by all means, you should. Okay, you should, because I'm way ahead of the game, way ahead of the game. I will tell you if I've learned nothing else, Janice, when you're close, your real only job is to survive with a positive attitude. Was you in my brain this morning? <laughs> see, see, I, 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 I am aware of the stigma that comes along with winning the stigma that comes along with winning is let me keep doing the same thing so i can always keep this feeling it's not how winning works winning changes it's elusive it changes every day therefore grace when it's time for you to do what you need to do right before that happens nothing works out. It's like you hit that brick wall. You can't figure out what's going on. 
are you mad at me, God? Like, what's happening? This has been, you know, this has been for two years. Sometimes, hey. okay, all right. Sometimes, Grace, sometimes, sometimes you're being humbled for this great seizing that approaches. You're being humbled for that. I'll explain. It's not that you need humility. It is more so that the thing that is coming your way, if you act like you, you're going to lose it. Therefore, you need to be stripped of this version of you to become that other version of you. How many you, of you did you have to say it like that? Well, that's what it is, Jerome. You know okay. it. You you know it. You know it, Jerome. A and, lot of and us, I can relate to that too. Psh, I can relate to that dog. Man, I I, I don't y'all remember a time in my life, bet not gave me a million dollars. Bet not. God would have made a fool of himself. God would have been very disappointed. He gave me that million dollar blessing I was asking for. Very disappointed. I'd have blew that whole million dollars, Grace. Blew it. I wasn't humbled enough to get the million and do the right thing with it. That's pauses on purpose. Pauses on purpose. I just want to let that sit in there. I want to let it take some roots, quickly get up in there. Some of you are praying for things your character can't handle. You're going to get them but you're going to be humbled first until your character can withstand your blessings. All right. Did they hear me, Grace? Did you hear me? Did you hear me? I did. All right. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to spend most of today talking about rhino leg CRM, but I'm going to tell you what happened. It was never my fault. Apparently, I'm so far ahead of the game. I need a, uh, the servers couldn't handle what I was doing. I was more concerned, Grace, with the servers handle traffic, traffic. Well, they couldn't handle my code. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about the fact that I did some 20, 2000, and 31 code and you got to get a specially built server for that hopefully it will be done today hopefully it'll be done tomorrow but what it made me do grace it just made me understood quickly i need my own server rooms asap asap there's no way around it and it'll make sense as we keep going you'll see what i have anything you hear today it's not future talk, Jerome. It's not a hype reel. Tracy, it is done. It is done. Firstly, Grace, let's go with, here's your title. Let's go with Rhino Leg CRM. And... Nope, 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 nope. I'm trying to be humble, but there's no way to be hum humble. Antonio, 25 moves ahead. And you can say with rhino leg CRM, because I'm going to talk about that. But I'm 25 moves well, ahead. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before mm -hmm. you move so fast, Mr. 25 mm -hmm. steps ahead. Yes, sir. What the, what the hell about us? that I'm going to try to get you to steal it plus okay as okay. we continue cuz I wasn't question. off see I wasn't on Friday you see what I'm saying but I'm on today all I'm right Mr. Right. 25 moves ahead of everybody yeah, else. I really am I really am I really <laughs> am I, I really am I was trying to trace I was trying to be humble there's no reason there, there's no reason there's no reason so I'm going to play this little video real quick and every time Let's see, Tracy. How many minutes you got till you disconnect? It's 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 eight ten. How many minutes? 
835. Okay, I'm going to skip the video. I'm going to skip the video. You know you need a CRM if you have a lot of customers <clears throat> because all that data is too much to keep up with. And forget the data. How about just their phone numbers? Grace got to flip through a notepad. Now, wait till she get 2,000 people in her pipeline. How well you think that tablet's going to work then, Grace? You need a CRM if you need more than one person, like Adonia does. Adonia, Tracy, Chef J, Phil and Susan, Jerome, Diana. Everybody I just named are going to need more than one person to access their company data. If you're busy, if you're like a donor and say, no, nah, I didn't start my own job for it to be a job. I just got out of that. I'm going to build a team. And I don't plan on doing everything. Not doing that. They made me do that for 40 years at the job. I'm not doing that in my own company. You're going to need other people to access your data at certain levels, of course, that then lets you make the big bucks a you. So if you need more than one person, like a sales team, a marketing team, an illustrator, a designer, an AI person, content creator, copywriter, doesn't matter. Anybody of, of this, this level, Grace, or any other level I haven't thought of, you need a CRM. I'm skipping the video. Uh, let's see. If you want to use that customer data, let's say you want to say, oh my God, Tracy, has to hang up at 835 and she's at school. You know what I could do for her one day? I could memorize her birthday or I could put it in my CRM. And then since she's been such a loyal customer, send her a card on her birthday. See, that's using the data. And then when she gets to school, have some flowers there at the school saying, we just want to make your last year of schooling a blessing as fresh as these flowers. And I can't do that without a CRM. Y'all see what I did there? If y'all wait no Facebook to remind you about somebody's birthday, surely you need a CRM for some of the same, some of the same behaviors. Grace, <clears throat> maybe you need a CRM well, you need a CRM if you want to spend less time dealing with collecting data and you want that CRM to compile that data for you. You want to spend less time doing that. If you want to spend less time, this is, I will call names, but this is every single person on the call. Every single person on the call will spend less time doing what they don't want to do and more time doing exactly what they want to do. If you want insights about your customer database so you can build a product that they don't even know they want yet. Hence, Rhino Legs CRM. You build a product they don't even know they want yet. A CRM will have you collect and pile all that data for you to get there. If you care about the, now this, is, this is something Phil cares about a lot, the accuracy of that data. So when Phil, that's why I tell you, when you finish the, the Meyer Briggs test, that's not the name of it. That's one of them. That's uh, everyone come from that pretty much. But what's that? Marcus Buckingham. I knew it was like uh, Myers Briggs. I knew it was an MB in there. <laughs> when you finish the Marcus Buckingham challenge, then let me talk to you. He wants the accuracy of who you are. So he's not giving you a cookie cutter version of Kenochi and the humor consultants. He wants, if it's 10 million people under the humor consultants umbrella, Phil and Susan want 10 million different experiences, but on the back office side, it's just one experience for them. But that CRM side, I'll just say CRM for right now side, it needs to be a million different things. It needs to be a shape-shifting system you walk into, Grace. Now for them, on the back side, that shape-shifting funnels into one, you know, 
understandable system that they they too can handle, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, okay, good, good. So you need a CRM if you care about the accuracy of your data. And that was that video. Grace, I don't know. Uh, Deanna, if you can hear me, unmute your mic. I'm going to ask her real quick. She, I'm going to see if she... I'm going to see if she... I am here. Okay, so some of the stuff you only you know where my dad. Should I... Should I should I display that? Uh, yes. Okay. All right. All right. Let's see. Yes, because I when no one will know what they need until you put in their face what they need. Fair enough. All right then. Fair enough. Grace, if you could, if I can get you to be a deer. And uh, I'm going to put some stuff on the screen. Oh, actually, well, maybe not. Well, Grace, you, you can read. Is it going to be too too weird reading in Starbucks? No. You sure? Because if so, I won't make you read. No. Outstanding. All right, let's see. Okay, Grace, we're going to go right here. I'm going to blow it up. Uh, there we go. I think that'll be big on your screen. <coughs> all right, Grace. Here we go. This is all for Tracy when she hangs up. This is where you start stealing. Go ahead, Grace. You can start reading. Rhinolith CRM is an AI-powered, all-in-one customer relationship management software designed to help businesses manage their sales, marketing, customer service, and analytical needs. With RhinoLeg, businesses can easily store and manage customer contact information, track sales opportunities, create marketing campaigns, manage customer service requests, and gain insights into customer behavior and preferences through analytics. RhinoLeg CRM also offers a mobile app integration, allowing for on-the-go productivity and customer management. The software features lead routing, customer segmentation, knowledge management, customer satisfaction surveys, and forecasting and trend analysis to optimize sales and marketing strategies. Other features include lead nurturing, multi-channel communication, contract management, payment processing, social media engagement, customer journey tracking, marketing attribution, field sales management, voice enabled commands, virtual meetings and webinars, inventory management, customer feedback management, and machine learning based lead generation. Rhino Leg CRM also provides tools for docu document automation, integration with social media advertising platforms, website analytics tools, partner relationship management, social listening, gamification, artificial intelligence, predictive analytics, sales coaching, business process automation, data visualization, and artificial intelligence powered chatbots. Additionally, RhinoLeg offers e-commerce integration, document management, calendar management, customizable dashboards and reports, collaboration tools, email marketing, referral tracking, integration with phone systems, localization, sales teams, and customer opportunity management, lead, limit, lead management, sales pipeline management, Mobile, access, mobile app access, sales analytics, email client integration, workflow and approvals, Rhino Leg data slash file storage, files sync and share, inside sales, inside sales console, sales performance management, marketing automation integration, chat integration, product level quotes, campaign management, customization options, social media management, Integration. Case so a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah. A whole yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You can read the last the last paragraph. With Rhino Leg CRM, businesses can improve efficiency, optimize their sales process, and provide a personalized and efficient customer experience. All right. All of that. Wow. All of that is real. 
I'm going to give you a little talk right as soon as Grace start reading. My server is complete. I got my information. As soon as you read your first word, my email went off and the server is complete. So now, yeah, but does it work? But does it I work? Got, I have to reconfigure everything to the server. server. It's not going to take long, but it yeah, should whatever. work. <laughs> it should work. It should work. That's that. Now let's try to break down. That's the 73 features, 49.97, bam. But we're not done yet. Just know that's the Rhino Leg CRM. It's fantastic. You get 73 different features, AI powered. That's, it should cost you, on the cheapest end, it should cost you $397, $497 a month on the cheapest end. Just <clears throat> simple as that. Grace. Thank you so much for reading. Thank you so much. I do appreciate you. You read so well. You read so well. Grace, oh. what if we what if we can outmatch that? Outmatch what? All of that? What, all of that. What if we could? You want everybody to have Jesus. What what if we could outmatch that? Man, I'm, I'm serious. Like, what if what if everything you just read? I can outmatch it. What if, Grace? I mean, let's, 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 um, hmm. That would be, that's a bold statement because that was pretty good. It's a bold statement. And that was pretty good. That was, that was pretty good. But I think so, Grace. I think we could. I think we could. That being said, I think it's time to read again, Grace. What you think? Sure. Okay. Yeah. I think so. I think so too. I think it's time to read again. All right. Well, Grace, why don't you pick it back up? Rhino Hub by Rhino Leg CRM. Mm -hmm. Introducing Rhino Hub by Rhino Leg CRM, the ultimate AI powered funnel building, funnel building solution for marketers, growth hackers, and entrepreneurs, small businesses, agencies, and enterprises. Mm -hmm. Are you tired of juggling multiple tools to create the perfect sales funnel? Mm -hmm. Look no further. Rhino Hub, the groundbreaking feature of Rhino Leg CRM. Don't let them sleep on here. you, Grace. Don't let them <laughs> sleep on you, Grace. Is here to transform the way you build and optimize your online presence. Say goodbye to the hassle of managing multiple tools and embrace the power of Rhino Hub, an all in one solution designed to meet the needs of marketers, growth hackers, entrepreneurs, small businesses, agencies, and enterprises. Rhino Hub simplifies the digital marketing process by organizing all your funnel offers and media in one place, promoting them through a single link that generates high quality traffic and automatically nurtures leads. Hmm. Our cutting wait, 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 wait. There's what? I don't you need to hear that again. Rhino automatically Hub simplifies, what? Uh, automatically nurtures leads. <sighs> Wait, okay, no, 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 no. Automatic nurture. So you actually like talk to me and say, here, do you need this and give it to me? And I'm sitting there typing on the, on the thing for my employer. Is that what you're saying? Yes. And more. Yes. If if that's what you got, yes. But that's only 1% of what I'm talking about. But yes, that's what you got. This is me answering Jerome's question. What about us? I created a system in which you don't have to work because you don't know what to do. And I was actually thinking about baby boomers. I'll come back to that here in a second and come back to that soon. But just know that when you put your lead into Rhino Leg, this is specifically Rhino Hub, it will automatically nurture your leads. Grace, what, tell us about nurturing leads. Just give us a few things. Well, what, what you have to do to your leads? And what have I taught? What you got to do? So after I talked to them the first time to set an appointment, you know, Okay, After set an that, appointment is one. We set an appointment and then we do the appointment. Mm -hmm. And then if there's a follow up call, then we will have follow up should have been first on your list. Follow up should have been first on your list. With the, between the follow up call, uh, between the time you did the first call and the follow up call, you send them different things like whatever it is mm -hmm. that they told you about themselves that they're looking for and what they do and what they need. You send them valuable information that's free, maybe like a great article about what it is that they said that they're looking for or how it can help them or what it is that they do. And you send them something else 
that can help. Hey, I, I saw this and thought about you and send that to them uh, all up into, you know, the follow up call. And then when they decide, yeah, you know what? I want to get started. Great. Well, it just doesn't stop there after the sale. You continue to nurture them. Hey. So you're saying Rhino Leg will continuously contact Adonia's customers, leads, and potentials on her yes. behalf while she is focusing on things she really need to get done, like preparing for a keynote or fixing the, co the company six years out. Yes. So Rhino Leg will do the day-to-day -day activities. And since she's not comfortable with sales, Rhino Leg would be her number one salesperson yeah. on her on her behalf. Yes. Interesting. They're not gonna sleep on me, Grace. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting here saying whatever. Like, I, show me, show me the money. <laughs> and you see, I had to get a server built, Grace. Pre-built. Tell us what's in it built funnel templates um, start your project with professionally designed funnel templates customize them to your liking funnel tips and get your funnel up and running in no time hmm. what's ui user interface user interface components library and draggable components so you don't need to know code is what that means oh okay drag and drop funnel drop building. area and layout okay all right that's nice organize your funnel layout with these watch it grace watch this set watch this one though what's number four Collaboration. Uh -huh. Simplify teamwork with our collaboration form feature. Invite team members, assign roles, and manage permissions seamlessly. Okay, remember this, because I invented something. So remember this. Remember that. We coming back to it. Go ahead, Grace. Lead capture. Mm -hmm. Generate leads effortlessly. E email integrations. Streamline your email marketing efforts with our email integration feature. Mm -hmm. Connect with your favorite yep. email service provider mm -hmm. and automate your campaigns. That's good. Bet you won't read number seven. AI powered one click upsell and downsell. I never heard of a downsell. Right. Yeah, yeah, Boost yeah. your revenue. Yeah, yeah. See, I'm with a salesperson, Grace. Hold on. I got you. I'm a salesperson. And every time someone says, no, don't you? That's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about it. I programmed the CRM to look at that person, Jerome, and go, okay. Here's a down sale that meets what you need. So when they go to the down sale, now nah, I don't, I don't, I don't want that. Don't it's two ninety seven. Then what it does is it then suggests one of Adonia's products that fits that person. What does Phil tell you all the time? That sales is a mutual agreement for something. Phil said for you know, you know, I don't do no quotes well. You know, I don't do no quotes well. <laughs> Selling is communicating in a way to produce a mutually agreed upon response that's best for all parties. Boom. And Rhino Leg CRM will, all that stuff Phil just said, that's best for all the parties for Adonia. Automatically, Grace, lead capture, AI. You're not, you're not, you're not paying attention. Automatically get your leads. Automatically nurture your leads. Yes, and yeah. I, I well, yeah. need all of this. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Why am I doing that, Grace? What's the number two goal of this company? What's the number to one help, goal of this company? To generate one hundred thousand millionaires. And what's the number two goal? To help the least person that's good in sales to become the best person in sales. So, Janice, it sounds like I'm staying true. You talk about me. Okay, <laughs> Okay, then. So when Janice get her website up, which probably should be up today, we're just waiting on them. When her website is up, you just hook, hook and sink and then boom. I ain't done yet, though, Grace, because that's not the biggest one yet. I'm looking at the time. AI power. Grace, I said come back to this, right? This is Rhino Hub. Basically, what this means is, are y'all familiar with ClickFunnels? Not familiar with ClickFunnels? Now, I'm not in competition with ClickFunnels. Make ClickFunnels continue to make all their money. Doesn't bother me one bit. Shout out to Russell Brunson. But if you're familiar with ClickFunnels, that's what I just did. I don't want to say but better, but I'm going to say but better. So you're not paying attention. Your CRM and the ClickFunnels, the sales funnels is all wrapped in one. But Grace, we ain't done yet, cuz. 
I mean, why would I be done? Because, <laughs> you know, Antonio ain't got time for just being average. Why would I do what you expect me to do, Tracy? How dare I do what you expect me to do? And it's funny that me, me and Donnie was talking yesterday and she said some, she said some stuff for us. And I was like, dang, that's, that's a fact, yo. That's a fact. That's a fact. Grace, inside of Rhino Hub, or inside of Rhino Leg, I mean, there is another feature. It's called Profit Pack. Can you tell us about Profit, Profit Pack, Grace? I made this up. Introduce Profit, Profit Pack, a revolutionary collaboration feature in Rhino Hub by Rhino Leg. Dear Rhino Hub users, we're excited to announce Profit Pack, an innovative feature within Rhino Hub that empowers you to collaborate with other users and skyrocket your business success. Profit Pack enables you to work together, learn from the best, and create lucrative partnerships in your sales funnels. With Profit Pack, you can build sales funnels together, mm. form, form a team of up to eight users, and create mm. sales funnels that combine the mm. skills and expertise of each member, amplifying your chances of success. To share and borrow ideas, get inspired by the top performing funnels of your peers, and apply exactly. their strategies to your own funnels. Exactly. You can also let others borrow others borrow from your successful funnels, making collaboration a win win experience. Three, strike commission deals. Collaborate on funnels with other users and agree on commission rates for mutual benefit. When your joint efforts pay off, everyone wins. Four, flexible payment options. Sync your PayPal account or upload your banking information to facilitate seamless payments between team members, ensuring everyone gets their fair share of the profits. All right, you can stop right there, Grace. You can stop right there. What that means, because Deanna wants me to hood it up, I need to go back and hood up, and I'm trying to get the 835 for Tracy. Please. What that means is, if my funnel is making a million dollars, Adonia, and Tracy could be like, hey, 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 let me get in on that. And I said, well, what you got? And Tracy said, well, I got this. I got a group of a thousand people that's just, just loving what you do. I say, all right, then. Okay, well, build something real quick. And me and you can, I'll cut you in on the commission. So I invite her to my team. I invite her to my team. And for every person she bring in, don't, don't think this is referral. Just for every person she bring in, it automatically cut her a check through PayPal. Okay, I got Tracy's attention. I didn't see the lean floor. I ain't done yet. That's one use for it. Or Tracy could be like, man, that is amazing what you did. My funnel isn't working like yours. Can you tell me the best support, most important part about your funnel? And I say, well, yeah, what it is is this front piece right here. And then Tracy then says, can I borrow that front piece? Can I take your funnel and put it on mine, that one part. And Tracy then says, and Antonio, for every sale I get, you'll get a commission because I borrowed a piece of your funnel. I ain't done yet. That's two uses. Can I give you a third, Grace? Adonia says, I know HR. And I got access to four, four, Fortune 500 companies. But Melissa got access to 3,000 different authors. Let us join together, Antonio, and create a team of three in our funnel. So then you'll go into Rhino Hub, click invite, search my username, invite me. Uh oh, uh oh, to we'll start a team. Grace, I made this up because it don't exist nowhere. We'll start a team. Now it's a trifecta, and whatever Melissa does is good in that funnel, whatever Tracy does is good in that funnel, whatever Antonio does is good in that funnel, and we strike commission deals and partnerships. And now, instead of instead of Melissa getting 100% of zero, she's getting 20% of a couple of million. Then Adonia says, well, listen, I mean, I got to, I got to get on, I got, got to get in on this. Here's my database. Let's upload my whole database. I got 3,000 names. Let's upload my whole database and let's email these people. And that's just three uses. Grace, 
the uses are unlimited. I genuinely created to where, and look, look at the name of me, Adonia. I genuinely created to where you can profit by making a pact together. And I did it so cool, Grace, to where I purposely made it, but you can only add, have a team up to eight. Antonio, where you get that from? You know what inspired me to do that, Janice? I play PlayStation. And in PlayStation, we typically like to get on audio parties and talk while we're playing the game. It's cool when you got a bunch of people, but once you get past eight, it's kind of hard to talk. And in a lot of games that you add up to four people on your games. Okay. So I use PlayStation and Xbox to invent a new way to get this money. Why would I do that? Because everybody can't make a funnel like Antonio, but it don't mean you can't get in on it. So I have a question. You should say that one more time. No, don't tell him. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. No, don't tell him. <laughs> Go ahead, Adele. <laughs> well, all I was going to say is, b based on the communication that went yesterday, it's even bigger than what it's I said. Even bigger. <laughs> I wanted to tell you so bad yesterday. <laughs> I'm done. I have nothing else to say. I wanted to tell you so bad yesterday. <laughs> Uh, that's too funny. Go so, ahead, Grace. You finna say something. So, if you built a great funnel, I said, "Man, this is amazing." And I tell you, what, I got, I have three thousand people in my database, and I want to get in on this. Do I have to create a funnel, or can I just put your my? No, you join my team. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you join my team. Okay, so this is yeah. people like me, sales funnel, build what? Okay, no, I'm gonna pay somebody yeah. to build it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you tell me. Yeah, yeah. By the time I'm finished, watch how many people start doing it. Anyway, just watch. Just watch how many people start doing it, Grace. Just watch. Just watch. Just watch. Now, Grace. <sighs> Tracy, do you got two minutes? Three minutes? No, you got it because you need it. You don't want to miss this. Okay, you don't want to miss this. Tell them. Tell them, kids, come listen. Now I've been dropping these hints. I really have. Now you know, <coughs> Jerome. You know me. You know I ain't gonna say nothing if it ain't if, if it ain't done. You know I ain't gonna say nothing. You know me. You know I don't play that. I don't play that stuff. Watch this here. Watch this here. Grace, I want you to say the word "in." Go ahead. In. 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 Okay. Now, if we are in harmony and we Synchronize our watches. What are we doing? What's that? Synchronize. Sync. Sync. So I want to say in sync, like like the back, like like the Backstreet Boys competition. <laughs> in sync. In sync. And what well, I can't think of another, but Kai. In sync, Kai. Say it, Grace. In sync, Kai. In sync, Kai. Kai. All right. In sync, Kai. That's uh, that's okay. Got that. In sync car, in sync car, in sync car. That's pretty cool. Okay, you got it, Grace. I got it. In sync car. Mm -hmm. You got it. I got it. All right, then. Grace says she got it. In sync car. Grace. Kill him, cuz. Here we go. Hold on. What did I do? Anyway, in okay, introducing in sync AI. Uh, you want me to start at Antonio or the title? Okay. Run that, Grace. Introducing introducing in sync a revolutionary AI by Antonio T. Smith Jr. set to change the world, ushering in a, a new era of AI-driven solutions for a resource-based economy. Antonio T. Smith Jr., the visionary CEO of Density Six has recently embarked on an ambitious journey to create his own AI chatbot in Sinkai with an impressive 195-step plan in place. In Sinkai is set to revolutionize the AI landscape and redefine our understanding of the power of artificial intelligence. 
derived from the Ashanti word in Sinkai Renee. In Sinkai Renee, meaning infinite or boundless, in Sinkai is a testament to Antonio's relentless pursuit of a world without poverty. His dream is to leverage AI technology to lift the poor and middle classes out of their current struggles and create a resource based economy where money is no longer needed. And Sinkai's sophisticated tech stack will seamlessly integrate with Antonio's companies. Moreover, it will boast the ability to learn and adapt, much like the remarkable chat GPT by OpenAI. However, unlike its AI counterparts, Nsinkai's primary objective is to save the world by- Yeah, stop right there, Grace. I catch the next, yeah, I can catch the rest at the Mexican conference when I unleash his bell and if I feel like it. I've been telling y'all that I've been creating my own artificial intelligence and been creating my own chat GPT. And I'm not talking about using open AI's interface and, and model, you know, like they document keys. No, 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 no. This mine. Y'all not paying attention. That's okay. That's okay. Nobody pays attention to teachers. Told you, I this told nice. you, he told me who you were. He told me I knew it. Hey, hey, so you heard it here first on this little private call. And I've built my own version. Yes, Elon Musk is starting an AI company too. He sure is. Well, even though he's he funded Open AI, he's starting another. I think it's like X AI and minus in CKI AI. Go ahead, Phil. If you missed the uh, segment on sixty minutes. On artificial intelligence last night, you should everybody should watch it. Oh, it's pretty sure comprehensive. It. Nice, yeah, I sure missed it. I sure missed it for sure. Grace, so what does that mean? I got all this stuff running throughout throughout all the companies. Why? Because I am attempting. Well, it, later on, you know what, Grace, just just read this one part for me, Grace, so it so it can make sense. Just read this one part. I don't want you to just 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 read this one part. Here we go. I think this it? No, that's not it. Hold on. Where is let me my document? Oh, I must have closed it. Oh wait, you can't read it, Grace. Sorry. Okay, let me put it in the, put it up in notes. Nerd stuff. Nerd stuff. Nerd stuff. Okay. Right here, Grace. It would be, be a little small, but read this for us. We'll get past the nerd stuff. Let me read that. Read what's highlighted. But Antonio's vision extends beyond just chatbots. He also aspires to build androids, AI-powered cities, and AI technologies that will propel humanity into its next evolutionary stage. By advancing these technologies, Antonio T. Smith Jr. aims to create a resource-based economy that will reshape our understanding of what's possible. At the core of Nsinkai's mission is the, re is the search for the elusive master algorithm. This pursuit will undoubtedly lead to groundbreaking discoveries and investments in the AI landscape, cementing Antonio's place as a trailblazer in the field. All right. Now, Tracy, you, 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 you can go teach some kids now. You don't miss the fact that for one, I ain't playing no games. Two, I, I'm, I'm biting my words here, Jerome. Are you really? Are you really that good? Yes. Are you really that good? I am. Okay. <laughs> I, I just need to. Okay. Yes. All right. I'm still. I'm still with you then. All right. Yes, I am. <laughs> That I did, and, that, and I'm glad he asked that question because Grace, think about it. Think about it, Grace. The people changing the world, they out there doing so. You know, oh my God, Elon Musk, Sam Altman, and they, everybody go, oh my God. Well, yeah. And you, it's quiet as kept. As humble as it is, as approachable as I am, I promise you, my stuff on that same level. I promise you. I am currently right now in the middle of concluding and training my model. 
ChatGPT was trained on 570 gigabytes of text data. I am currently, so that's something like 5 billion words or trillion words, 5 billion documents. I'm currently scouring the internet for one terabyte of data to feed my AI. I am not in competition with ChatGPT OpenAI. I don't care nothing about it. Actually, I see the future. I see everybody else using it, which is good. I see everybody else trying to compete, like Bard is trying to compete. You know, Microsoft, I'm, that's their battle. That's a white people on white people battle. That's got nothing to do with me. Let me make that very clear. That has nothing to do with me. Nothing to do with me, all right? Dude, that's a battle between, you know, white giants. I done snuck in. I don't have a, but no, you know, no, no, you can't. I brought race into it because it's, it's real. Let's keep it real. I don't have they fight. My fight is poverty. That's where I come from. I come from poverty. When you learn how to read out loud in church, struggling with King James in Sunday school. <laughs> I bet you it's more than a few people here that know what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. That's why I'm yeah, laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm from poverty. I'm using my AI for different reasons. I'm building a different infrastructure. I want to build AI-powered cities that power my resource-based economy. I don't care nothing about losing search. Like, it, it, Google created AI because they don't want ChatGPT to put on my business. I don't you that's that ain't my problem. It's not my problem. That's God bless them and they problems. I don't have them problems. I don't have them problems. My problem is my people perish for lack of knowledge. Ooh. Somebody. I'll mess with Sandra real quick. Gotta be Moses. Somebody. Somebody has to come back and free the people. Somebody has to do it. Somebody has to do it. All of this is there. Some of you got a confidential email from me. Some of you, most of you did not. You got a confidential email from me. Be on the lookout for one more round of emails. I'm very strategic. Some of you would get an email today. I will not say who. I will not say who. And that email does not guarantee what the PS of that email say, Grace. It doesn't guarantee employment. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm not playing those games. I'm not playing those games, and I'm not getting caught up, Jerome. I'm not getting caught up to where I'm getting blamed for other people's failures. I ain't getting caught up in that crap again. I ain't getting caught up in that. Right? That's why tech is tech. I ain't getting caught up in that. If you're looking for what I'm doing, I'll give it to you now. And I, and this this is. This is one of those calls. Y'all going to look back on this call. Remember this, Grace, it was April 17th. I'm sure it's something significant in astrology somewhere about this date. If you look it up, I'm sure it's something significant about it. I've, lived, I've made what y'all would call mistakes. I've made them all. To me, not an issue. I've redoubled to where I don't have to worry about certain things, Grace. I have five companies. And that's it. They're all tech driven. It took me two and a half years, maybe three years, to change my big boat, Melissa, from education to tech. 
and I suffered through that whole change. How many of you know change is violent? <laughs> change is violent. I don't care what they take. Somebody lying to you. Change is violent. Shifts are violent, but they are necessary. And it ain't easy to walk away from a spouse. When you walk away, you're never the same again. You, 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 you're ripped in holes, and so is they. But walking away sometimes is necessary. Sometimes you got to kill a relationship so you can let the person live. Who know what I'm talking about? Because if I kept it, I was going to kill you. It, it's... Is, 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 is there a balance crowd in here somewhere? Okay. Yeah, you talking. <laughs> you talking. Okay. If I kept that, <laughs> y'all was going to kill you. And business and, and, and poverty and even our former selves are the same way. Number one is rhino leg CRM. You, should, you don't got to write this down, but Grace, you write this down. Rhino leg CRM. Do not think this is a product. I need you to perceive this as a company that has 300 employees. Well, actually, John, we talked about this. I need 100. Em- was that you? That- yeah, it was you. I gave you my numbers. You still got them written down? Yes, I do. Give me one second. Right. There you go. There you go. She All right, you ready? You. Yep. Write this down, Grace. 120 people on the sales team. 120 people on the marketing team. 120 people for customer service. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Sorry. <clears throat> if you're going to steal this way, you steal. Okay. After marketing team, you say customer service? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Let me know you're ready for the next one. I'm ready. Okay. Then 200 other employees, like 200 everyday employees well those are everyday employees but 200 additional other. employees yeah, other okay it's a bunch in that other you know you know like a hospital medical billing and coding transportation you know mm-hmm. somebody got a, all that stuff other how many employees is that three 120s and 200 it's 500 seven five, five, six, six. Six. So i need you to think of rhino leg CRM with 560 employees. This is important. I really need you to process that information. Some of y'all got an email. If you think you got one, you should check your spam or check your email, Phil and Susan, because some of you got an email, confidential email. It's number one. Antonio, when are you going to release Arlenbrook? It's done, and especially now since I got my survey information. So you're going to release Arlenbrook first? Nope. Nope. I'm releasing Rhino Lake first. It was always been the plan. I just always told y'all about Arlenbrook because that's what you was going to pay attention to. Rhino Lake comes out first. Why? Because we're going to aggressively, aggressively with energy, get in front of people who need rhino leg CRM gently. Because it don't need to be sold. I can assure you that me offering people an opportunity to take $49.97 or $99.97 or $299.97 Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mention that to y'all. The 299.97 is fully automatic AI powered all day. Okay, Tracy, all day. The 297, Melissa, is just, you have a a complete artificial intelligence CRM to sit back, hit the green button and move. Don't worry about it. Just hit the green button and move. Boom. That's that one. But Timeout, we'll come back to that later. That's why in Sinkai AI exists 
to go inside of my companies and make a million out of somebody who don't have the skill sets but got the character and make a salesperson out of somebody who ain't even talked to nobody in two years. It's okay. I'm going to keep going. <clears throat> if you don't think that I am actively trying to woo Adonia over here to be head of HR, you crazy. If you don't think that I have not saw the opportunity that when she transition she just softly laying over here and i'd be like okay okay what conditions you know <clears throat> do you need to just stay here and make sure this is good so it don't feel like a job what you need if you don't think for one second but i'm not doing that you is not paying attention to antonio so just not paying attention i cannot confirm or deny if adonia may have received a confidential email but you should use your better judgment. <clears throat> you should use your better judgment. If you think for one second, now there's a set, there's a there's a second set or a third set of emails going out today. I can't tell you that Jerome is on the list. I could just tell you that Jerome's name was mentioned just now, but I can't tell you that. You understand? I can't tell you that. You know, I cannot confirm or deny. Cannot confirm or deny. Let's just say you need to receive right on it. Why? Why? Why, Melissa? Why? Why? Why would I do this? Why? 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 Well, imagine if Facebook made a CRM or ClickFunnels made a uh, made a Facebook. Imagine how much rules that CRM would not have to follow if it was, if it created a social media. Hmm. Imagine a world in which Melissa makes a post and has already given the social media company permission for the CRM, same company, to have 100% access to what she does or choose which one she wants and say, scour all of this and you find my customers. See, that's intrusive, Phil, if it's an outside company. That's, that's illegal. That's, you get called to Congress for that. But Facebook and Facebook Messenger are communicating 100% over all your data. No, no, no. You, today you see ads in Facebook Messenger. Do, do, do y'all see that? There's stories in Facebook Messenger. I went to Instagram, shot a message and say, hey, you, were you pleased with this message? Did yes or no? Would you like more business messages? No, no, no. Stop it. No, I'm not buying whatever you sell. I have no idea what they were trying to sell. No was the no was the answer. So Melissa, if the CRM built a social media, hmm, or if the social media built a CRM, it's really hard to tell which one is which because the truth is they're the same. The truth is Allenbrook was built first. And CRM was built inside of it. So you really can't say first because they were built like Messenger. Like it was just part of the process. They were both built at the same time. And Antonio split them in two. Why did Antonio split them in two? Because Antonio ain't got time, Phil, to make the same mistakes as the first time. Why not release the social media? Because that's free. And me... Phil and Susan and Adonia and Deanna and Grace and Jerome ain't got time to be waiting on no beeping salaries. Do you understand? <coughs> me, 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 me. Okay, just want to make sure that we understand what's going on here. Is that 
Can y'all can y'all follow me? Yes. Oh, oh, go ahead, Phil. You mentioned astrology. Uranus mm -hmm. is square Pluto. You are entering into a new phase, one that comes as something of a shock to your established system. This transit sparks your urge of self-transformation and regeneration. There is a semi-semistic semi shift in the work for you, based on letting go of parts parts of your life that have outlived their usefulness and that one reason or another you have chosen to hold on to it. Conflicts and drastic changes may come to you during this period of time. You are likely to have new spiritual insights during this period or find that, or find that you will be different and to find your own unique pathway forward toward a more powerful than usual. You are undergoing an important transition in your life, entering into an entire new phase of existence in which the habitual patterns and concerns of the old ways, old, the old way of your world may vanish entirely or dismiss, di diminish in their importance. Y'all hear that? Not only is that accurate, that's accurate for me. Thank you. I will need one more. Hold on. Send a message. Okay, good. Not only is that true, that's true for me because I had to let go of some things that no longer maintain their youthfulness. I had to let go of some friends, not the people, but being responsible for those people. They could be responsible for themselves and they're doing a good job at it. So I think for the last 14 years, because I've been, I've been, I've, I've, I've been okay since 2011. I've been okay. I've been financially okay since 2011. So for the last, whatever years it is, was that 12 years? I haven't worked for me at all. I haven't. I've worked for a set of friends trying to have us all make it and just here in Jan November no December I let that go and blah 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 now I'm working 20 hours a day for me and I didn't build a whole artificial intelligence a whole social media so somebody's missing the fact when you focus on you or don't you I'll get my TD Jakes on. Oh, get ready, get ready, get ready. When you focus on you, when you focus on you, your harvest start to show up. But anyway, anyway. So Rhino Legs, here I am. Please, 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 please. Okay. Rhino Legs, here I am. Different company. Why am I doing it first? We're going to get a customer base. And we're going to get money to then promote Allenbrook that then takes care of the Phil and Susans. It's as simple as that. That's that's just that's why that's first, Grace. That's why. And that's why that's first. No sense in being famous and broke. Don't make no sense. It doesn't make any sense, Melissa. It doesn't make any sense. So when does Allenbrook come out? It comes out this year. When does it come out? Well, it just appears, Jerome. When you read the email, you will see some confidential information. And the release of Allenbrook has something to do with how quickly that confidential information occurs. You understand. If, if you read the email, I can't, I cannot confirm if he's gonna get the email or not, but if you read the email, there's a plan in that email. Very well thought out. 
very accurate. There's a plan in that email and the release of all book depends upon that plan. Why? Why am I doing this? For the love of God, Melissa, if you learn nothing else from me, learn this one thing. Do not delay another moment in making money. I know your dream. God's going to work it out for your good. I understand you're building for the future, but do not make Antonio's mistakes. Start building for money now. I didn't say let that be your passion. That's not what I said. I didn't say replace your dreams for money. And I didn't say build something for money. Don't take what I'm saying too far. I'm saying neither of these things. I am saying, well, you know what your dream is, Jerome? Go get a dollar first. Scale your dream down to where you're going to get a dollar first. And then go get another dollar until you have a projection of dollars. And then once you get a projection of dollars, you go get those dollars until you have predictable revenue of dollars. And then your dream will actually work. As crazy as you think I sound right now, I bet you all y'all needed to hear that. I bet your companies is not doing that right now. Do not. I don't know why they teach us this. And I'm not sure where we get it from, Melissa, but we all get it. Everybody who started a small business, we are all saying secretly in our head by accident, one day it's about to happen real soon. And I'm telling you, get rid of that real soon. And I'm telling you, there's $100 to be made now. Shift your company to where you can secure those funds. Now, now, if you are of the culture where you can go raise around the funding, then that cell ain't talking to you. Go ahead and do your thing. Go ahead and go ahead and do your thing. Go on, go on Silicon Valley, get your funding. For the rest of us that don't have no round A and B, round one and two funding, we don't have no grandpa, it's gonna leave us some money. You need to make money now. And I promise you, Adonia has hated money for so long, but not money. That's why she always has it. She's hated the idea of being all about money. She's never had a bad relationship with money. She hated the idea of being all about money. I bet that idea kind of changed now that she's about to leave that job. Adonia, uh, prayers and what, what are, thoughts and prayers. Is that going to help you lead that job? Thoughts and prayers. Are you going to be able to retire on thoughts and prayers? Thoughts and prayers, Adonia. Yeah. Um, I've been that that job. Job. So probably not. <laughs> probably not. Go ahead, Kaphil. Make that job her first client. Right. Okay, that's what I should be saying. Yes. We'll make that job her first client. <clears throat> thoughts and prayers is not going to keep the lights on to rhino legs first period why because it has all the elements of a social media guess what you can do in rhino leg grace you can send messages you can invite teams and you can have friends and you can send encrypted messages sounds like i'm setting something up huh can't do that with no other crm I don't mean like send messages to your customers. No, I mean like send messages to anybody else. Guess what else right or leg is, Jerome? It's cloud-based. That means you don't need to install nothing on your software. You don't need to put nothing on your computer. It's cloud-based. You put it there, saved in the cloud. Go, go. Wait a minute. I'm not going to run out of room and have to try to figure out how to move and get rid of and take and put that over so that I can put this. None of that? None of that. Nope. Oh, MG. Nope. Yep. Don't I do none of that. It's cloud based. Why would I do that, Janice? Hmm. Seems like I'm setting up a bigger picture, aren't I? But in realness, and I know you, I know, I know, I know the beans and the eggs on the stove is calling your attention more than me. But in realness, you must create a business model 
that takes care of your people first. First time I did this, I built the business model that takes care of the infrastructure first. That's how I got here. It's not a mistake, Grace, because if it was a mistake, I wouldn't have the infrastructure to do every, pull everything I could pull it off. If I had a chance to do it over again, would I do it? No, absolutely not. I enjoy my life the way it is right now. But I am telling you, Adonia, it's time to do something, build something that lets you sit back like your daddy and count your money. That's it. It's that simple. It's, it's that simple. It's not up for disagreement. But if you don't do it, if I release Arlenbrook first, see, the problem with Arlenbrook, Grace, is it's going to bring everybody. How many of you know you don't want to build around everybody? But if I can find 20,000 Adonis, are we going somewhere? Give, give me 20,000 Susan, Susans. I, I bet. I bet you. I want to build first, Shelly, with the Janices that's trying to build. 79.99, 49.99, all this stuff like that, right? 97. And they ain't willing to, those willing to do that. It's willing to make their money. Now, when you launch the social media, it just makes sense. It, this has always been my plan. I don't you watch watch how easily this flows, and you're gonna see that boy was he was saying that. Watch it. I'm gonna build a business platform with a bunch of people who are in business, small business, enterprises, agencies, etc. Marketing blah. Once I do that, Grace. Then I'm going to say, by the way, this CRM seamlessly integrates into Arlenbrook. Everybody got it? By the way, Grace, I'm not done yet. Join over there. We already got your username. Just join over there. It seamlessly integrates. And there's also exclusive subscriptions. As you create, you can make more money exclusive subscription. So now you're making your money over here. Like yeah, you write through the big time saver. Now you're making more money. Cause see at the CRM, that's your money and that's your effort. But now I'm saying, Oh, look at you, Adonia. Going on out there, huh? Let me tell you what, let me bring millions of people to you. So now when I say exclusive content and do that subscription, it's so much of an easier transition than starting with it. I'll give you a church example for this grace. It's not a church, it's a church history example. Church history example. Jesus, you know him, don't you? Grace, okay, just wanna make sure. Just wanna make sure, just gotta make sure. Jesus was a Pharisee. There's no doubt about it. It's, it's impossible not to say he was. If you look at every argument Jesus had, it was with whom? Pharisees. How many times did Jesus argue with Sadducees? Once. You, you, you don't argue with people you ain't got nothing in common with. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. You don't argue with people you got nothing in common with. Jesus was a Pharisee. They shared the same beliefs. Everything. They believed in everything of the same. Just there was some essentials that were, you know, that obviously changed. So guess who were the first people? Now your Bible grace records the first people joining what you call Christianity. That's not what Jesus established, but you know, what you call Christianity. Your first people, it says Gentiles, because that's that was the point of Luke writing that, because Luke is a Gentile. Just just to be clear, a Gentile told you about. Gentiles being saved. It's called author biasness. But church history says, guess who got saved first, Grace? The Pharisees. Why? Because it wasn't hard to make the transition. Hell, we believe in everything he said. We already a Pharisee. He's a Pharisee. We, we already have all these tenets together. So it was nothing, it was not hard to transition. You understand what I'm saying, Grace? Okay. Now, that was a 
I use the word church on purpose, no offense to any Orthodox Jews, I'm just using this on purpose for grace to understand what I'm talking about. I don't think anybody here is Jewish, but it should have been offensive, but just so we clear. Grace, so how easy is it going to be to transition from paying for a CRM to getting a monthly subscription that puts people in your CRM? How easy is that going to be to transition? It's real easy. Common sense. Mm -hmm. Donnie, I'm asking you, do you want to keep working or do you want us to send you millions of people a day? Which one you want to do? Common sense. But if I do the Arlenbrook first. Send me millions of people because uh -huh. these boxes could load on my. No doubt. Them boxes got to go. We got another one getting ready to retire. <laughs> the last time I did something like this, this is Janice. The last time I did something like this, I was actively pastoring my a church. My church, I forget what year it was. Year six, seven, eight, five, four. It doesn't matter. Last time I did this, I built something right there in the middle of the church. And I said, "This is what's going to happen." And last time I did this, you can ask Grace. You can ask. You can ask Diana. Ninety nine percent of that church retired in a year. But that's a fact that actually happened. That actually happened. And the only one person who did retire got a really good job offer for some really good money based off the things, blah, blah, blah. Just so we clear. If it wasn't for that job offer, I'd had a 100% success rate. So I'm telling you, Jerome, Rhino Leg first. Rhino Leg is a company on its own to be separated from Allenbrook because they have two different goals. <clears throat> they have two different goals. So Allenbrook is obviously the next company. Then it gets fun, Phil. Diana, you remember the conversation from yesterday? It gets fun. It gets, it gets fun. Then you have the gaming, which y'all don't see that to Saturday morning. It was nobody, Shelly sees it Saturday, and Grace and Diana Saturday morning. They have gaming, that's separate. Then, what is it? Hold on, I'm forgetting myself now. Arnold Rhino Link, gaming. Oh, and then the tech company itself all the robotics. The reason why I built the AI has nothing to do with, I built the AI has nothing to do with chat GPT and open AI building that. That helped me move faster when that had something to do with that. But I, it had nothing to do with that. I've been building an AI of some sorts because what I want to do is get into robotics. Because my 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 middle school, my middle child, my my youngest son, is and is real big in engineering, and he just loves to work on robots and stuff, and that kind of put a fire in me eleven years ago. So I've been building that sustain. Go ahead, Phil. When you watch the sixty minute show, mm -hmm. have that son watch it with you. Sure will. Because a subset of I think Google uh, created robots. And then the robots taught themselves how to play soccer. So on this special is robots playing soccer, which they never taught. They never taught the robots at all. The robots learned to play soccer through AI. Wow. They taught themselves how to play soccer. And that's what I'm, that's exactly what I'm building. That's incredible. I never would have thought about that. The soccer being the number one sport in the world as they scour in data that obviously would have been pulled up multiple times. <laughs> and since the World Cup just passed, that kind of makes some sense. That makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense for sure. Wait to the way to the robots that teach themselves golf. <laughs> We're going to get so far with technology that I guarantee you, you know, a hundred years from now, the argument will be like a hundred years from now, Grace, the argument will be, should we let our first AI player 
on the basketball court, our first AI coach. That's going to be the argument, Grace. The argument is going to be, when should we let a coach, artificial intelligence coach, in five years or less, in five years or less, we're going to have a very serious conversation of why humans are still writing books. We're going to have a very real conversation about that. A very real conversation. Because if the goal is for the readers, and if the readers, if we write for, where's Melissa at? If we write for the readers, and if the goal for the readers is to give the readers a vacation, is what Melissa said in our thing, which, by the way, I'm bringing it up in a second. If that's the goal, then not letting AI write the best crime novel is a crime itself. The only people who are going to have a problem with that are authors, not readers, authors. In five years or less, you're going to have a very serious conversation a very serious conversation about should we let AI, should we, because no, no reader's going to care if this book is written by AI, if it's fantastic. Not a single reader's going to care. Writers and publishers are going to have a problem. Why? Because publishers are writers. But if the market demands it, in which you're trending towards the market demanding. Any publisher, any person that does not want the artificial intelligence to write books or write the next best-selling script, it's going to get put out of business. Why? Because excellence is the only thing people buy and the market is always right. And I dare you, I dare you to find me any time in capitalistic history to where somebody went against the market and what they wanted and they won. Kodak tried to do that, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, the Kodak, you even th some of you ain't thought about the word Kodak in 15 years. That's kind of proven my point. I think longer than that. <laughs> That's proven my point. Kodak should have been the genius. Kodak should have owned all smartphone cameras. But when smartphones came out, oh, wait, well, they weren't smart just yet. When cameras came out on phones, they were one megapixel. It was like taking a picture underwater with Vaseline on the, on the camera. But technology, Melissa, has a way of getting better. And the whether the market want, the market want women, 100% women made cell phone cameras better. And it had nothing to do with y'all taking pictures. Well, of selfies. It had nothing to do with that. Had everything to do with the fact that you was at, I don't want to say World because World needs to just get rid of all their animals. But, you know, don't mind me. That's the vegan in me coming out. You know, it's torture and prison. Give me another one besides SeaWorld. Astroworld. No, I can't get the Astroworld. It's not. Six Flags. Everybody knows the Six Flags. You had some sort of theme park. Theme park. Yes, Disney okay. World. Okay. And guess what you got tired of, Melissa? Holding that baby, your purse, the stroller, and everything at the same time. So you demanded that this little camera work better. So next year, when you went to that same theme park, you was able to leave that camera bag. And in the next year, you was able to leave your purse too. And then now today, you don't need to get out the car with anything. You can Apple Pay, Google Pay, and you don't need no bags. It's too hot outside for all them bags anyway. You just reminded me of how vacations used to be. My dad used to 15 walk bags with that huge camera on his shoulder with the VHS tape inside of it. 
with the red and yellow wires because you had to hook it up to the. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. then it went to the mm-hmm. small one where he was like this all day. Mm-hmm. And then, but he had this, oh man. When the small one came out, it was almost, a, it was like, it was a symbol of status, like a Blackberry. Mm-hmm. If you had a small camera and a Blackberry, you were rich. Remember, remember when Two Ways came out? Oh, yeah, that, that Razor phone. But everybody had the Razor phone. Everybody had the Razor phone. Like everybody had the Razor phone right before smartphones. We're going to have a very serious a very serious conversation about how AI should be assisting authors. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And I'm going to tell you when the, I'm going to tell you the tipping point is going where it's going to be, Melissa. The tipping point is going to be when publishers like Melissa start making more money than publishers like Penguin. That's going to be the tipping point. Actually, there's just legislation passed that if a if an author is using AI as a ghostwriter, it can be published and copyrighted. It cannot be copyrighted if it's just an AI and you're not using it as a ghostwriter. Makes sense. It just passed last week. Makes sense. There you go. <clears throat> and the Authors Guild is already trying to fight it as AI should not be uh, used at all in publishing. See? Yeah, I got it. Everybody get it? Some of this makes sense. Some of this makes sense. And that's legislation. That means somebody even got together. Somebody who make money got together and saying, we're not going to lose our money. No, we're going to protect our money. And Tanya, People that made AI is saying, <laughs> we're not going to lose our money. And the authors are going, we're going to lose money, so we don't want it. It's always there, already there. <laughs> it's already happening. Go ahead, Susan. Musicians are, it was top of the news today. Mm-hmm. They, you know, they're taking their songs and doing the voiceovers and all that. Mm-hmm. And so they're they're finding a way to protect their music. But lose. right now, it's not. And there's no, there's no way to do so because they're going to lose. And let me tell you why they're going to lose. Because the market doesn't care about musicians. The market cares about music. Exactly. Yeah. Mark cares about music. Remember when when Steve John, well, actually when Napster, I forget his name, created that they they came after Napster. They came after. So Steve Jobs learned from that. You have to understand, Apple, Steve Jobs, all that streaming music I got right now, that came from Apple. That came from uh, iTunes. Like that came from your know, iPod. Like that came from that. Steve Jobs created a platform. To where you can bypass artists and, and musicians and record companies and just stream. Now, so what do they do, Melissa? Uh, we, that's illegal. They tried to shut iTunes down. But you don't win because the market still wanted iTunes. So what happened? Now you certify streams. You pay artists for streams and you certify platinum and gold for streams. You count streams as record sales. I'll push that further. How many of you have bought an album in the last 10 years? What an insane question to ask. And nobody's bought an album in 10 years. The same thing is going to happen. That very Antonio, same thing. Antonio. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I have to say that we have because of Sarah Maria, she ah. collects them, and whatever city we're in, she finds, goes and finds those. That and makes then sense. I had a collection. Phil had a collection. So, but mm-hmm. she, she's very specific on that. Oh yeah, um, we, we, we had a collection. I had to. It took me fifteen minutes to figure out what I was gonna ride to, Jerome. Big old black binder. You know what I'm talking about. I had to flip the pages. The list plaques got stuck together. You know, I had to look up. Nah, and I picked up the, the I picked up the, the one I burnt with the permanent mark on it. Tony Summer Mix '97, maybe, maybe that one. Put that, 
Y'all act like y'all ain't did that. You know, <laughs> it's okay. Yep, nope. that's all I had. On that. Yep. that was all on the CDs in college. Yep. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, and it right. had the line that you wanted. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sean Fanning. And, and Sean Fanning. Oh, that's his name. Yes. The Napster. Napster. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, of course, if you, if you had real pretty handwriting like, like Deanna, you can write each track on the burnt CD. You One, better two, believe three, I did because yeah, I needed yeah. to know what was coming up next so yeah. I could skip if I needed to. And then you memorized the playlist. So if you mm-hmm. wasn't in the mood for this particular song, you could skip over to the next one. That's true. There you go. We don't do that no more. The market is going to win. The market is going to win. And wait until somebody like me figures out how to artificially intelligence, how to AI power your music. And I don't mean creating. Melissa, we've detected a change in your mood. Would you like to listen to? That would be scary. It's going to happen. The Okay. For one, admittedly, my brain is way up there. But if I'm thinking about it, I can't be the only smart person thinking about it. Baby, it was in the scene, an eye robot. Remember oh, when he's talking to the girl so and right. telling her, he's telling her and the things that, I'm sorry, I can sense sensitivity in this room. And, and they just look, <laughs> it's hap- it, it will happen. He's so it right. He's so right. He's so right. <laughs> You sure all right. I forgot. I need to go watch that. I need to go give me some ideas. Give me some ideas. So when Adelia sent me something yesterday, I was so inspired. And I was like, okay. Okay, yeah. Adelia, you want to say something about that? Because I was, I was so inspired. And I was like, oh, man. I, I, but I had a bunch I, of stuff. I, I had a bunch of stuff. Well, I that just what I just realized is your brain, and you're, you're just one person. And what I sent had to do with, I don't know if I even need to say it, but it, it is Canva related. And there's so many different uh, services they have under their umbrella. And it made me think of Antonio and the way he's processing. Now, realize they're a big, big, big company. Started small, talked about how their investors didn't support them. And then now they're billionaires. Bottom line is they have a lot of brains, a lot of really smart people that work for them. Antonio is an individual. His brain functions like these big old companies. And so that's why I was impressed when I looked at it and I said, I need to share this with him. He's really right kind of in line with what this big company is doing. So for me, it was I was impressed and I just wanted him to see he's on it. And I'm I'm amazed, but I guess maybe not at this point. It comes from the struggle. It comes from the struggle. Struggling with grace. Okay take care of this and then grace gets busy and forget to take care of it and then antonio gets you know in trouble for it or antonio go take care of this and antonio gets called because somebody has you know it's for the die and i got to go stop them from undying but shelly doesn't care because she wants her thing right now so i figured let's use all that and then invent something that I don't have to be a thousand different places. I could be in one place. I could be in one place. And I just went through the fire quietly. Went to the fire quietly, making it work, Grace. Went to the fire quietly. Which ones haven't we mentioned, Deanna? Oh, Assembly of Wonders is a whole city. That's the government. That is the government. Assembly of Wonders is the government. So there you have it. And that's the government. Well, there we go. That's just about it for me. Let's see. Who among you? I just saved this server stuff. So I'm going to try to do handle this here. Who among you? You don't have to answer out loud, but what if I'm right? What if I'm 10% right? What if 90% of the stuff I've said has been flair? 
What if I'm 10% right, though? Melissa, if I'm 10% right, if I've actually pulled off the wrong 10% of what I've said, you're still wealthy. That's why I asked you, were you that smart? Yes. Yes. I just have this thing about me. So I just don't think anybody is smarter than me. I just, I just don't buy into it. I just flat out don't buy into it. I just, it's just a, this is an attitude I have. I was looking at Elon Musk and the, they just built the largest rocket that ever exists. And I went, I could do that. Like genuinely, I have no desire to build a rocket. And it, it, and not, a, not like a, and it went in from a place of competition where I was like, I wonder what my version of that rocket would look like. like and I start mentally, I start doing a thought experiment about what my rocket would look like. I don't know. I just, I've always done that. I've, all, I've always done that. I don't know. I'm not sure why. I guess being in the trash can for all them years, I mean, you got to think your way out of stuff. And this, you know, all you got in the trash can and all your thinking. So maybe that's where it comes from. Maybe, maybe I did. A, I know I did a lot of thought experiments on nights when I was all by myself. I mean, what you gonna do? Like, I can't like play puzzles. It's dark, it's hot. All I didn't do is think. And maybe God used that for this here. Mm -hmm. I just know whatever you're trying to bury, God's trying to use, but I ain't gonna bother y'all with that. <laughs> I'm gonna bother y'all with that. I just know that, you know, <laughs> nothing is wasted, Jerome. Nothing is wasted. Nothing is wasted. Lastly, uh, uh, Melissa did a fantastic job. I know she's still uh, right there at the camera. And I want to, it, it, it's over for y'all. Because I told y'all, once I get to a stop point, Jerome, I did, that y'all was going to hear about the United Cities of Solaria. I told you that you was going to hear about it. And I see it's at Target. We still have a, an Amazon issue, but Target and other couple other places. I told you, I told you, I told you, I told you was going to hear about it. Well, today, as far as I'm concerned, I am officially starting my promotion for the United Citizens. I didn't already post it at seven this morning. I didn't already post it at seven this morning. So, Melissa, it, it, it's time. It, it, it's time. I, I gave y'all. 13 day head start. I did. <laughs> I did go ahead, Phil. This is just some feedback. Mm -hmm. and this is just me as an individual. So take it for what it's worth. I find the typeface hard to read. Now, maybe it's because how long I've been on this planet, or maybe my glasses aren't as good as they should be, or the size of the typeface is too small. But I have trouble reading the book because of the typeface of the letters. I mean, oh. just, just, just sharing that. Okay. I don't know if anybody else has given me that feedback, but at least you got it from me. I haven't even, I, I've been so busy, I haven't even seen the book. I haven't even opened the book inside, except for just a little bit. So I haven't really looked. I haven't really looked. I got to order some and open them. I haven't done any of that. I haven't done any of that. So Melissa, that was feedback for you. Phil, is that the interior, the actual wording of the book or is that something else no it's the typeface and the size it's standard font for and 12 point font well, well I'm just i'm not familiar with that font it's again i did i may be an individual so just, just be on me no 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 i i i appreciate the feedback i'm just trying to figure out what's wrong <laughs> well, she she you got to examine I, it, right? You know, see. You I I will it. double check everything. <laughs> yeah, examine it for sure, and and we we'll go for that because it could always be changed. It can always be changed. Right. As as, yeah, it can always be changed. And I would thank you for getting the book though, for sure. But yeah, it can always be changed. And what else to say? 
I know some people have been, I know a lot of people have been reading because I'm getting messages and I always be changed. Feedback, my friends, feedback. Feedback is gold. It doesn't get any better. Feedback is gold. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't live without feedback. It's just not possible. It's not possible. To, to exist is to be perceived by others. If you are never perceived by another person, then you never know who you are. You know that you exist, but you never know who you are in your existence. I think, therefore, I am. That's a thought. As long as you're thinking, then you know you exist. But to know who you are, that's living. You can only know who you are from someone else's eyes. That's why a lot of y'all relationships are jacked up. The image the image well well yeah but you you are that that what i sounded poetical that wasn't that was practical that was practical that. diana cannot exist well excuse me she can exist because she's thinking but she can't be a being without someone perceiving her perception says this is who you are when i look at you when I interact with you, how you interact with me tells me who you are. And without that, you're nothing. To, per to perceive is to exist. <clears throat> without, without that, if no one has ever saw grace ever, did grace exist? Not on earth. You exist in the great realm of realms, grace. But you as a personality has never existed. It's impossible. Because you have no personality if no one is perceiving it. It's impossible. It's impossible. Right. Being a millionaire is a whole lot more fun when people are around. <laughs> I imagine if you, was, if you was the only person on earth and you was a millionaire, it's not fun. It's no fun. Being a millionaire has everything to do with people being around. <laughs> it's no fun without it. <laughs> Go ahead, Phil. And to reinforce what Robin Williams said, reality, what an interesting concept. Even what you're perceiving is an illusion. Yeah. I had the TV on and I had my iPad going and I was watching the Lakers beat Memphis again. Sweet. But I noticed... They weren't in sync. So which one was really happening at that time? None of them, because it was happening. Then it was transmitted to the TV. Then it was transmitted to my iPad. So I was never really looking at reality. I was always looking at a pro projection of reality. Because reality had already happened. That's a strong point. Come on, Phil. <laughs> That's a strong point. That's a strong point. That is a strong point. For real. That is a strong point. You hear him, Grace? Dropping knowledge upon today. Heard him. Yeah, buddy. Dropping knowledge. One of the things, today. one of the things that you said, Antonio T. Smith Jr., when I first got here, has always stuck with me. And you said. I want you to show up every day and I want you to know that you have something from whatever you learn, but then I'm going to make you look stupid because <laughs> you're not going to have what you had before, which means that you have to get more to catch up, to get where you're going. That's where I am. Still a fact. And and I thought that was brilliant because, and 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 I paraphrased a lot of because I can't remember exactly what you said, but I remember <clears> that <throat> because it continues to happen. You show up, you think you got it, 
And then you asked. <laughs> still a fact. That's still a fact. I stand by that. That's still a fact. Thank you so much. Sandra, yeah, yeah. the man is all the way. The first time, I, the first email he ever sent me was the art of being stupid. I said, this sucker. <laughs> that's all. That's what the first thing I said. This sucker done mm. robbed me. Mm. I done right, sent him my right. money. And he sent me a damn email telling me how stupid I was because I sent it. I, that was almost three and a half years ago. And now it's like, I, mm, yeah, but that's him. That's that what he part. do. That part right there. That's what he do. I said, the art of being stupid. Said, and you know, the crazy me. part about it, the crazy part about it, Adrian, is that you look forward to showing up being stupid. <laughs> do you understand? And it made me very, very comfortable. And I said, I don't know who right. he is, but as the world has shut down, because that's what it happened, the world shut down. And I was with this man that said he was going to give me the world. And that last time I seen something about Antonio, he cost a lot of whole money. And I wasn't getting involved with no whole lot of money. But he was talking money. So I said, all right, well, let's pull up Antonio. Then he had the audacity to be giving it away for free. <laughs> so that I part. actually looked at the that part. So I looked at the one that was giving me the money and said, but, mm, I, I, mm. I don't like, need what's you. the name of that movie? My <laughs> mm, Wait a minute. I don't need you. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, uh, see, Sandra, be quiet. See, it see I was over here minding my business. I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. And, no, no. no, no. It happens. <laughs> it, it, it happens. I'm going to share this. Melissa just posted Amazon link, but let me tell y'all. Let me, let me, let me caution y'all. Wow. I know my publisher probably don't think there's a Amazon issue, but there is. There's most certainly there is Amazon. a major Amazon issue. All right, there's it an is Amazon, Amazon issue. All right. Well, we we got to fix it because we definitely got to fix it. Definitely. I, fix I, it. I would love to sit down with uh, whoever runs Amazon's websites to fix it. Okay, well, we'll we'll talk offline. We got to fix it, whatever it is. But I know. So it says you purchased it. Deanna bought the book on March 11th. She still don't have a book. So we gotta be careful. They, I had to email, and they they said it's in, it's in a delay. So I had to approve the delay. That was maybe four or five days ago. Uh, maybe the I don't think the paperback is scheduled to come out on Amazon. I saw it something like sometime in August. It just which book, Antonio? The cities is the one y'all got. The United Cities is Yeah, we have ours, but I don't know. I think you got it from oh, Melissa, though, right? Like she, she said, yeah, it yeah, yeah. See, so <clears throat> yeah, just Amazon is having so many issues with books right now, and it's not just our books; it's everyone's books. There's we a gotta... <clears throat> yeah, mm. yeah. And we got to fix it because most people I only buy books from Amazon. I don't buy them from nowhere else, you know. So most people are going to be like me, and then. But that's okay. <clears throat> that's okay. So this this is good. Let me tell you how I'm looking at this. I and mean, then you all can, I don't know, you can do what you want to do with it, but let, hear me and then do what you want to do with it. While it's it's cautious, it makes me cautious to publish my 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 Kofi Sai series. It makes me very cautious to publish my Kofi Sai series because I don't want to go back through this. However, I'm not looking at this as a bad way. I'm looking at this as a way to promote the book outside of Amazon. So I just really need y'all to get that nothing's bad. What I could do is I could get mad at Melissa if I, if I wanted to, and then I could inappropriately blame her, and I can say, well, I publish on Amazon. I could do it myself. I could do anything like that. That wouldn't be appropriate. That would be quite low level awareness then i can say oh, but this doesn't work and all sorts of stupid stuff and y'all do that and it doesn't work out it just doesn't work out you're never blessed from it you're never blessed from it. why because it's easier for me to blame melissa than to take responsibility and say hey i'm dependent upon amazon see that's harder See, Melissa would be the easiest way out. Now, I'm not saying she's doing any of this stuff. That's if you if you hear what I'm saying, I'm saying something very positive. But but y'all got your own auto suggestions, so you hear whatever you want to hear. Hey, I'm but guess saying, what? 
I'm mm-hmm. glad you're having this conversation because yeah. you know that's my whole entire thing. Amazon was like pfft, the whole that whole thing was like a drop with Amazon. It was good, but it was a drop. But you're like you say all the time, it's about the attention and being louder. So right. now all you do is you promote louder than the Amazon and direct them to the other places where you want it to be. Right. Right. And that's right. how you do it. And then you have your own thing. So like you, child, that's when I'm in. Right. And win everywhere else. And then me and Melissa exactly. will force Amazon. To get it together. To get it together. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I'm looking at it. I'm looking at it as me and Melissa against Amazon, not Melissa against me. But I'm trying to point out something very, very, Melissa, come to the camera real quick. If you can, I don't know if you're on a toilet or something. Just, I'm trying to point out something. Y'all get into partnerships and turn on each other. That don't work out for you. It never has. It never does. It, it never does. It never has. So, Grace, don't get into a partnership and then have a secret problem with your partner. But I know it's on, but I can hit me in the headphones because I, I, I get to hit me. Hey, man. It's me and Melissa against the world. Why do you think I'm trying to get to Triennium? website up so we don't have oh, to do i have the full capability to do that now should you want me to well how much money do you want to make well what a great answer <laughs> what a great answer we will we we will have a zoom call today <laughs> we would have a Zoom call today. What a great answer that was! <laughs> how, how quick do you want to make it? Yeah, <laughs> Deanna, gonna set up that Zoom call. Keep the party going. <laughs> Keep the party going. I said for sure. I didn't have the skill set. Then I definitely got the skill set now. For Infinite. Sure. Infinite. Yes. No, that's right. Infinite. So me and Melissa are gonna attack this here. We're gonna get it done. We're gonna get it done. I want to show you one thing I did though. I started like I didn't start. I haven't done anything with United Cities of Solaria since a week before lunch, because that's when my plan, my plan started from January to the week before lunch. That's, that's when I did the plan. Now, I done fooled around, Melissa, and went from today to March 10th, 2024. Oh, my God. My current United Cities of Solaria plan, not the not not all the books, no, 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 just book one, goes to March 10th, 2024. Grace, go to my fan page, share your screen. Y'all, <clears throat> Chef Jay, what I want to do is give me, I'll be done in seven minutes. What I want to do is I want to show you what I did. Wait, your page or like the fan club page? You're right. My business. Antonio T. Smith page. Jr. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. What I want to show y'all is I took Melissa's interview, put it in the script, transcribed it, asked for every major point. I sure hope y'all hear this. Okay. Thank you, Grace. Scroll on down. You go on the timeline. I, I I've ran across that by accident. I shared it. Scroll down. Yeah, when I saw it this morning, I was like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Right there. Sugar say this on Amazon now. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right there, Grace. Look. Okay. That's Melissa's interview. I want all of y'all go watch this interview because I want y'all to help Melissa's algorithm. So when she <clears throat> stop your screen, quick, Grace. You are not watching this interview for me. I mean, we go put it back up in a second. I'm excuse, excuse me. You're not watching this interview for me. You're watching this interview. So when you publish with Tree and Press, the algorithm is kinder to your book than it is mine. <clears throat> She's just starting to use her YouTube page in this way. Well, not just starting, but you get the point. But we know it's a gazillion YouTube pages out there. So what we want to do, Deanna. Is y'all want to go to this link, 
you want to like and you want to comment. I told Melissa upon doing that interview, I said, I won't touch this interview for six months. So for six months, I want to bring as much traffic as possible to her YouTube channel. Did I not tell you that, Melissa? So I'm telling y'all, for six months, I want y'all, I'm just going to share that, share that. I don't know, I didn't already schedule this to be, I didn't already schedule this video to be pl played once every seven days on my page for the next year to March 10th. I didn't already set that up. And you're going to see this a year from now, once a week. But help her algorithm. So when the humor consultants come out, more people get to see. If you're not paying attention, attention gives you money. And be glad I went first because I'm going to throw a lot of heat at her YouTube channel so authors and authors alike can go ahead and get it. Grace, share your screen. There's an art. Uh, yeah, you, you go ahead and listen. There's an article. There's a thing on there that I have written by chat GPT. I, I had to go back and make some changes though, but there you go. And then I did something else and I'll show you that and then I'm gone. Go ahead, Melissa, you can talk about this. Okay, your Amazon's going to have a special edition, which is going to be a different size than any other store. Cool. That, that's that's the issue. You have too many pages. So I'm going to fix the page problem by making a different size. And it will also have a different font for... Yeah, I was just going to say, and focus on the font. There you go. <clears throat> there you go. All right, that's the issue. That's why we had an issue. Uh, I'm fighting with it, so it's going to be fixed. Well, so this is so. Th thank you, Grace. You can stop it right there. Grow with your partners. That was all I was trying to say. That, that's all I was trying to say. Like, grow with Antonio. Don't get pissed off and disconnect, and then talk behind my back and never come back again. That don't make no sense. Genesis don't make no sense. It, it don't make any sense. It, 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 it don't make any sense. No, we, 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 we ended at 10 o'clock down. I just want to show this one thing. It don't, it don't make any sense. Go ahead, Phil. Because you're not going to cry over it. No, no. And all I'm going to do is pass <laughs> up. Anybody left me, and I'm building my own artificial intelligence, is an idiot. But I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Go ahead, Phil. <laughs> Two things. We're probably going to be finishing streaming Ooh, tonight. Today? Good. The, yeah, sorry, I'm streaming, but the first we're going to start with streaming is the only space where saturation works. So I think that's kind of apropos. That's what we'll be starting with tonight. And then I would challenge everybody to look at the 60 minutes into uh, our artificial AI program and bring it to the meeting tonight and tell me what you got out of it because it's it's significant. They they interviewed the head of Google. Uh, they interviewed their robotics. Uh, business that's out of england um it's it's pretty intensive to our interview so i encourage everybody to, Can we to drop check that out too? yeah what that yeah can we drop that link in the chat oh, oh sorry i'm streaming so you get the book or you want the the class makes oh, you want oh, the 60 minutes oh the 60 minutes yeah you muted yourself shelly Oh, I see. Yeah, I, I have the, the class. No, I was thinking that interview. Okay. So, uh, what, Deanna, look up 60 Minutes AI interview. And I gotta I'm, I wanna I wanna show this because for some of people it's gonna like, you know, Chef Jay gonna like get on a treadmill or something a little bit. So let me just show this here. What I did was <clears throat> I took the interview. I, hold on. This is me giving away free game. I hope thou accepted this. Okay. I hope you accept this. Here's the script. I came in here. I transcribed it. I ain't caring about nothing, Jerome. I don't care about no typos. I didn't need that. And I came from the script. Then I went to uh, chat GPT and I asked for every major point, but I had to put it in there. Now, I had to put it in there six times, Melissa, because 30 minutes of talking is, is a lot of language. So I was getting something like this many at a time. And what I did was I got this many bulletin points from that right here. So I don't know what this is. It's like 30 of them. Everybody see this? Then I went back and 
little at a time. I took like five links at a time or something like six links at a time, six bullet points at a time. I said, give me 25. Give me 25. Uh, well, hold on, let me see. Let's go look at my prompt real quick. I have not there. I said, give me 25 something. <clears throat> Let's go look at my prompt. I said something. Give me 25 something. We'll find out right now. This is 12 o'clock at night. That was that was me asking a number. I say, see, look. So you can see I started. I said, please pull every major point from this interview. Bam. So I had to do it like six different times. Please pull every major point. This is the second part. This is the third part. Bam. So that's why I had to do it that many times. If you're not willing to do the work, you don't deserve to be rich. Then I put, please give me, that's what I did. Give me 25 quotes that can go on social media about Antonio T. Smith Jr. and this interview based on his book below. 25. To the point, Jerome, when I went and got all those bulletin points, to the point off of Melissa's 30 minute, if y'all hear nothing else, man, Melissa's 30 minute interview, Jerome, I got 118 quotes. Plus all these bulletin points. So that's something like 150 things. That's one interview. That's 150 graphics, Grace, now, and 150 blogs. I think I'm playing. Her 30 minute interview just became 100. When I tell y'all that I got a plan to go to March 10th, I'm giving you a part of this plan. What? If you are somebody who coaches or coaches of any way, you might want to tell your people who have books or podcasts or interviews, go to ChatGPT, get the bulletin points or transcribe it, get the bulletin points, and then ask for 25 quotes from five different bulletin points. You know how much money that is? You leave it on the table? Come on, Phil. What do you, how do you decide what target audience to point that to, to get the best return? Yeah. And that's yeah. my content and context question. No doubt. Is it the people that pay Dungeons and Dragons? Is it, uh, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no doubt. In my case, it's post-apocalyptic and thriller suspense writing. In Melissa's case, because some of the things that she some of the, I'm sure like some of the contracts she did, they got me in, cause I'm checking, I check every day. I am the best kind of author for Melissa and the worst kind of author. The best kind, cause I'm extremely supportive. The worst kind, cause I'm looking at everything, everything. I'm looking at toilet people on the bottom of people's shoes. You know, I'm looking at everything. So some of them have like me in like life and adventure or thriller or something like that. You know, I'm on like Suho. She got me on Suho.com or something. I'm looking at everywhere. I'm looking at all the places and stuff like that. So whatever those categories are, I'm focusing those categories. For me personally, since I want to be in post-apocalyptic and thriller suspense, because that's my genre, that's, you know, that's, that's what I'm writing, then I'm focused on that too. So whatever Melissa, my publisher, has published, both in what I've asked and then plus when she hits it on autopilot, they doing what they want to do. It's out of her control. She can't even contact. I guess she probably could contact these people, but ain't no sense in doing it. We're going to ride with it the way we ride with it because it ain't that serious. You know, nobody's going, you know, it ain't that serious, but people like me, avid book readers, I typically only read from a few genres and I go to those genres and look at books. So if you're not in my genre, I don't even know your book exists. I don't even know. That's why I make such a big deal about my genre. Because I know how I search for books. And keep in mind, I reach 30 something books a week. I mean, a month. So I would call me an avid reader. I would call me an avid reader. So I do that stuff like that. So I just target it for there. But one 30-minute interview, Grace, giving me 150 pieces of content that then turn into 350 pieces of content of 30 minutes. I told y'all when I get started, oh, you're going to hear about this. 
I did say that. Jerome, I said that. I even I, I even told Deanna, tell him the confidential conversation I had with you yesterday about, I, I said, hey, now I'm about to promote the book. T- tell him what I told you. You tell me, hey, I'm up. Uh, wait, which part? The part where, the, the sad part. And I was like, you know, I don't want to. Oh, you were saying that you're going to start promoting your book, so I need to start promoting mine because you don't want to, you, you don't, you don't want to be, I'm, I'm afraid of how I took it. Yep. You don't, you don't want to feel selfish or appear selfish with promoting your book and not promote mine. Period. I'm automatically going to promote her book. I'm going to do that. But if you think I'm fit to gorilla her book and not mine, you're crazy. So I said, hey, this is what I'm doing. Here's how I'm doing it, blah, blah, blah. What we supposed to be doing is us both is supposed to be doing it for, for her brand, for my brand, and then coinciding. That's evenly yoked. That's when, it, that's when there's no problems. That's when there's no problems. That's when I don't have to feel bad. So I said last night, hey, I'm, I'm about to kill this book, just so we're clear. And I don't want to feel bad. I wasn't asking. Melissa, this was a notification feel. I do not want to feel bad for doing this. So her and her competitive self, well, let me make my own plan. Well, she don't have to make her own plan because I'm here to help, but you get the point. Point is, I gave y'all 13 day head start. And Melissa is not trying to publish one author. I gave all y'all authors in Tree and Press a 13 day head start. I'm coming now, and I am relentless. So let's have a friendly competition. Who is going to do the most book promotions for Tree and Press? How about that? I'm sure Melissa don't mind this competition. Do you mind, Melissa? Just, just... I, I don't mind 100%. <laughs> okay. So, so she is saying, keep talking, Antonio. Keep going. I promise y'all. <laughs> and here's ahead. the thing. <laughs> We have all these authors within ATS and they're not utilizing Dove and Dragon radio that's free for them. And you're giving them the keys to the kingdom of how to use it. Uh, thank, thank you so much. May I get on for every one of my book releases? Is that okay? Always. Outstanding. Can we just, can we just keep that standard? That is standard. Outstanding. The DNA has so the much. link is just what they works. Outstanding. There we go. Chef J, I got all them stuff. Because look, Jerome, this is my private folder, United Cities of Solaria. And if I tell y'all, I got graphics for days. If I tell you, I got graphics for days up in here. For days. And then this folder has some. And then this folder has some. And then this folder has some. If I tell you that I'm coming, I am coming. I'm about to create a limited podcast series. It's going to be on Antonio. So I'm not going to create a new podcast, but a limited podcast series. Eight episodes. Just about United Cities of Solaria. Just on my podcast. Publisher, do you have any problem with me? doing this i have no problem whatsoever thank you so much because i gotta mention tree and press don't i yes you do and if i don't mention i still gotta send them to a link that tree, tree and press get the check for yes you do so either way tree and press gonna be all right yes okay i like money money's green i, I like things that are green so you know okay okay just so we clear i'm acting like my book came out today Two years from now, Adonia, I'm going to act like my book came out today. Y'all are going to get sick of me in this book. And when I do the next, you're going to get sick of that one. And you're going to get sick of that one. Because I learned from 2014, I had a, a published uh, author, David Burris is his name. And the author tell me, hey, bro, don't let these people make you think your book is out of style. As an author, 
our book just came out every day. And I never forgot that. And I'm, I'm over my aunt telling me don't promote. I'm going to promote. I'm going to promote on a book and I'm going to promote on this call. And if you ain't bought my book yet, you out of, in a cutback season. Don't worry about it. God is still good. Or you just tripping. Because if you ain't bought my book yet, you know, that's not my genre. You better buy it and donate it. Because I show up to you every day for free. <laughs> so you go, you go, you go buy that book. <laughs> God dog it. <laughs> it's your reasonable servant. Go give it to some homeless shelter or something. I don't care what you do with it. Use it to prop your table up. I don't care what you do with it. Hopefully you read it, though. Hopefully you read it. Grace, I'm saying I something have a that's question. Mm -hmm. um, go ahead. And after you, I'm I'm done. My... After you, I was just gonna conclude. Okay, so my question is, is it possible? And do you, Melissa and Antonio T. Smith Jr. have a, I'll be right, I'll, I'll be with you in a minute, hold on. I'm, pardon y'all. My, my question is, is it, Melissa, are you doing all of Antonio T. Smith Jr.'s books because ordering, because I've ordered three of your books, Antonio T. Smith Jr., oh, and so I good. have not gotten them. And this has been in past times, but they were supposed to come through Amazon. So I'm asking if Melissa is doing mm. your books, then I can order them from Trent versus, does that make sense? Am I making sense? Yes, it sense? does. So what we're, what we're gonna do is, I'm a, what I'll do is, Grace, if you could do me a favor, if you can get with Sandra, I want to know all three books that she did not get when she ordered from Amazon for me to have nothing to do with Melissa, because I want to send those to her personally. All right. You're going to do that. In fact, I'm going to send them to me first, autograph them, then send them to her. Take care of y'all people. Now, I'm going to do that personally. And then, Grace, do me a favor and get with Melissa. Get whatever link Melissa like. And then send that link to Sandra. Every link works. And Melissa just said she found out Amazon said it big, books too big, which doesn't really make sense to me. But you know, Amazon be tripping because they—I mean—they selling books this thick. But you know, let me not. They—they they have a page count. They're—they're they're irritating, which is why we're going to fix it. We're going to force them to fix it, or we're going to force them to buy Trian. <laughs> get down or lay down that sounds like my style gracie hand that for me immediately yes. get those three books and then get sandra the right link so she ain't got to worry about no thinking i want her as comfortable as possible okay, okay. okay. yeah you're gonna get it the right link i appreciate you whatever three books that she ordered she need to get then i'm gonna buy myself and send it to her cool all right yeah yeah we're gonna do that i got you we we got you sandra we got you and so I have no idea. Now, of course, is that my fault that whoever she ordered the book from didn't work? No, I can't control a billion dollar company. But is it my responsibility, Janice? Yes. Fault and responsibility are two different things. Deanna, I got your book on Saturday. It finally came. All right. <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Thank you. Good. Good. In conclusion, I need y'all to give that what I'm trying to teach you here when I say this for last is massive aggression and action for your dreams now whether you like that agree with that or not has nothing to do with me because the poor will be with you always so shall you decide to be poor that's on you but I know Adrian is better sell misunderstood dancing in the rain troubled times and every version of it none of those are the name of her book every single version of it until complete and when it's complete you know she reincarnate and buy it because then she dies she still better sell the book when she die her son better go hey everybody if you've seen this video my mom just died but we would love for you to get the book it's got some principles in there <laughs> 
<laughs> she ought to die reincarnate and buy the book as her new self. That's how much she ought to sell this book. You understand now? Now, <clears throat> my <Yeah>. last... <laughs> you feel me, though. <laughs> my last thing is I want to sell... Hundred thousand copies in the United Cities of Celerity. That's what I want to do. I want to sell a hundred thousand copies in the United Cities of Celeria, and you can help. One of the first things I want to do is give twenty six copies away to the prison. Go ahead. Hundred thousand copies you want to sell through a major distributor such as Walmart or Target to be in store shelves. Boom. You heard what she said. So then I'm only sharing Walmart and Target links. Then that's all you told me. That's all I heard. I am very practical. All I heard is Walmart, and Target, until Amazon work. Amazon counting that too, right? Amazon counts for total sales. It does not count for store shelf sales. Walmart, and Target. That's the goal. All right, thank y'all all so much. I'm gonna work on Rhino Leg. Listen to some sports because the Lakers won. I told Grace for the Lakers play. Lakers winning the championship, only losing one game. All playoffs. You heard it here first. Did I tell you, did I tell you that, Grace? Yeah. Okay, I'm looking at the headline right now. Shannon say Lakers and folk. That's okay. I'm gonna debate you because I'm all warriors. So we'll talk later. Bye. Well, fair enough. Fair enough. You should be all warriors. If the Lakers lose, then I will, I won't step to win. Last year I was the exact opposite. I want to step to win. And I want the Lakers to lose. See, I am a LeBron Steph fan. I can't. I'm a LeBron Steph. I'm Stephen James. You can't play better. You can't dominate. Love you, everybody. We see you at 530. Love you more. <laughs> All right, y'all. Y'all have a good one. Uh, Zoom call me and Melissa and everybody. All right, everybody. Y'all have a good one.